is um, our project for today is on the HIH insurance scandal. And some background information on this company is that it was an Australian-based company. And before its collapse in 2001, it was the second largest general insurer in Australia. It also had operations in many other com countries besides its home base. At the time of the company's failure, the HIH insurance group consisted of more than 240 companies. And of these companies, there were also a few uh, licensed companies incorporated in Australia. Before it became a good company, though, the HIH Insurance was founded by Ray Williams in 1968 and then was bought out by the British company in the year 1971, just about three years after its founding. The company was passed to another company and a new CEO was named, who was Rodney Adler. As for some background information on the issues that they faced, In 2001, they were liquidated, unfortunately, and the company was placed into a liquidation. This liquidation estimated that there was a total loss of up to $5.3 billion. And even though that this is a large number, it can be easily explained because they had over-optimistically estimated their assets and hugely underestimated their liabilities. And this downfall became one of the biggest company failures in Australian history to date. And this failure within the company, as stated above, stemmed from overestimation of assets and a large underestimation of liability. And another issue that they faced came into play in 2005 when it came to light that the CEO, Rodney Adler, had been found guilty of four criminal charges that led or helped lead this company into its downfall. These four criminal charges consisted of two counts of giving away information not knowing that it was false, one count of obtaining money by false statements, and one count of being intentionally dishonest and failing to discharge, failing to discharge his duties as the director in the best interest of the company. These charges, as I already said, were also part of the downfall of the company. The first lesson we can learn from HIH insurance is to keep up with your accounting. Like we mentioned earlier, the overestimation of assets and underestimation of liabilities caused the company to be able to assume more risk than they could take, ultimately causing it to collapse in 2001. The second lesson would be to keep a careful eye over your operations and choose choose who is in charge carefully. In the last stretch of HIH's life, the directors voted to get a fee increase when the company was already in deep financial trouble. To put this into perspective, even the slightest decrease in assets, only 1.7% would push them into the negative on their books, yet they decided they needed an increase in pay. Also on the board members, only seven of the 12 board members were present when the final decision to pay FAI $300 million, one of the decisions that pushed the company into the negative, um, only seven of the 12 were even there. Five of them weren't even there at this, at this decision. The final lesson we can learn um, is the, the lack of accountability in this organization. A lot of fraud and embezzlement occurred. Um, in addition, money was being spent in ways that it shouldn't have been. Lots of capital was being blown on new projects and ideas that had failed. The long-term planning was not there, only short-term financial goals to meet uh, um, for the stockholders. Uh, the lack of planning, huge underestimation of assets and overestimation of liabilities, the corruption and fraud all contributed to the failure of HIH. Currently, HIH is in its runoff period, which means they're not doing any new business at this time and only managing outstanding claims. So, yeah.